in my kitchen when my staff don't follow my recipes, which is a real rarity, heads are turned when that happens. So uh, interesting watching you do that. Risky. Very risky. Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, you've already got your roulade plated. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the fiddly bit. Now I just got to get the sauce right. Yeah? You seem like you're ahead of most of the other people, so that's that's positive, eh? Don't tell the kids. Well, at first I thought it was a funky idea to put the bones in the oven, but I might eat my words. So I still need to wrap the fish. Cutting it down to the wire, guys. All right, everyone, you've got 10 minutes left. Make every minute of this count. I haven't cooked my fish and I haven't made my salad. I'm not going to get this done in time. Yeah, you've chosen to use sea lettuce instead of the wakame. Oh, I haven't. No, I haven't yet. I was just tricking you. I'm actually not too sure which one's which. I was just uh, keeping it moist. Yeah, we thought that was it. <laughs> it's terrible. So I don't think they like me at all today. Starting to play everything together. I'm really happy with the flavours, so I'm just kind of concentrating and then I'm going to fry my fish. What a pressure test! Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, guys, time has almost run out. You should have your fish on. Your sauce should be done. You should be starting to plate. You should be doing those final checks, making sure everything is seasoned correctly. The thing running through my mind right now is the plating is going to be suboptimal. Not getting a dish out today is not an option. It is just a race against time. Things are looking pretty organised over here. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. I am conscious that my rings are a little smaller than yours initially, but I wanted to get a really strong shape and that was the best way I could do it. All right, Vicky, you've got five minutes left. I see that your tour tour is not done, your apple's not done, your egg is still in the pan, and I don't see a plate in sight. I'll grab your plate and a All right, dish. let's go. Yeah. Let's, let's get her plate in. I'm really worried. I know that it's it's probably me going home. Clear your bench. Start chiffonading the yeah. sea lettuce and the parsley. Get it on the plate. Yeah. Two minutes! Two minutes remaining. Let's go, wrap it up. Come on, you can do it! Ah. Time is becoming a blur. Today, I could be in trouble. This is the last minute you've got. Oh, jeez. Have you checked the seasoning of everything? Have you checked the recipe? Are you missing anything on the plate? This is your last chance. Go, guys, go. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Step away from your benches. Great job, guys. Great job. Nice. You've had two hours to recreate Monique Fiso's Waipungarangi dish. We cannot wait to taste it. Today, we'll be taking turns in tasting your dish with Monique. I want to stay so badly. I'm sort of trying to keep it together at the moment. But yeah, it means the world to me, so yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hopefully it's enough. As the numbers are dropping, you're realising that your time here is so limited and could stop at any challenge. It's definitely starting to ramp up, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. The stakes are high. I don't want to be in that bottom three. Someone who's going home today. Elliot! It's definitely been one of the most intricate cooks. The heart is pounding. A three-hatted chef, chef of the year, is just about to taste a dish that I had made. Absolutely awesome. Awesome. I see a very well executed waipunarangi. I'm thinking it looks pretty bang on. Thank yeah. you very much. The kohlrabi's the right size. All the garnishes appear to be there. The one thing I would do differently is the wrapping of the ika with the wakame. I would use a little bit less. Let's take a look at the sauce. Okay. 
great consistency. And I can tell that you've actually spent the time to get that consistency right. Correct. Okay, great. Let's tuck into this. Awesome. It's well seasoned. There's a good amount of salt in there. The, the egg is cooked perfectly. I've got to say, the apple tuatua salad is very, very close to how we do it at the restaurant. Thank you it's very much. pretty bang on. Elliot, congratulations. You did a wonderful job. Honestly, I just would be repeating everything that Chef just said. That sauce, though, was just bang on. Mm. Really wonderful job. You should really be proud of yourself. Thank you very Thank much, you, guys. Elliot. Thank you. Mind blowing that a three headed chef paid me a compliment like that. It's an absolutely incredible feeling. Walking up, I'm feeling like. Okay, you have to be proud of what you've done today because you did really give it everything you had in the end and you put it all on the plate. What do you think, Monique? Presentation-wise, really spot on. It looks beautiful. Oh, the sauce is... It's very thick. Very thick. And it's definitely taken on a, a beige hue. Not sure whether that's to do with the decision to roast the bones. In my kitchen, when my staff don't follow my recipes, which is a real rarity, heads are turned when that happens. So uh, interesting watching you do that. Risky. Very risky. Mm. Mm. I do think what's important in there is that you went rogue, you realised it wasn't working, and you corrected course. I'm keen to taste the flavour of it. The kohlrabi was actually really well seasoned, which kind of helped with some of the other things being a little bit off the mark. Mm -hmm. The tuatuas for me were a bit over, a little bit rubbery. The sauce, to be honest, it was lacking in some salt, some acid, and the consistency was, was a little thick. Yeah. Thank you, Rachel. I'm a little bit worried. It wasn't as good as you thought it was going to be. Kind of kicking myself before going rogue. Mm. What do you think? I feel for you.